guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna just do a short intro today because I'm gonna be showing you guys my makeup collection. It's not the biggest collection in the entire world, but ever since I redid my room, it's just nice and organized. I have everything in nice organized drawers, so I thought I'd show you guys my entire collection. So yeah, if you guys wanna continue watching me, subscribe to my channel down below, give this video a thumbs up, and let's just get into the collection. Okay, so if you guys remember from my room tour, this is my makeup area in vanity. If you want to see that, I will link it down below. And again, this is what the vanity mirror looks like turned on. But we're going to start off at this part of the vanity mirror is where I have all my brushes. So in this large container right here, I believe this is from Home Goods. This is where I keep all my face brush brushes. So most of my face brushes are from Sigma. I have some Real Techniques brushes, like that's a contour brush. Just like a bunch of little brushes. I have some brushes. This is my favorite one actually from Real Techniques for foundation. And this one for contouring too. I think it's like a Lisa Frank brush. I have no idea. But yeah, this is where I keep all my face brushes. I just keep some Q-tips in this small one, I need to refill that, but in here I have just all my eye brushes. Let me move that so you guys can kind of see. I have more diversity in these brushes, so I have a lot of Sigma ones. I have some ones from like my Ipsy Bads. I also have a lot of Morphe brushes. Morphe brushes I think are my favorite for eye brushes. So. We kind of just have a diversity of brushes in there. And then coming over to this side, I have this lipstick container, and I believe this was from Marshalls as well. I have my MAC Fits Plus, MAC Fits Plus, right there. Um, this is like, oops, this is like my favorite, um, like, starting spray for my makeup, and I even use this as a setting spray as well. So I love my MAC Fits Plus. And I just have some, like, CVS brand of eye makeup remover, just in case, like, I need to remove something if I messed up or something like that. So most of my lipsticks are liquid lipsticks, which is why this isn't completely full. So just to name a few of the lipsticks, this is Love Lorn by Matte. This one is Heavier Cake. It's, like, a matte uh, pink. This one is Rebel. It's a berry color. This one was a limited edition by Matte in Hot Chocolate. I have a uh, lipstick by Knits. This is like a rosy color. This is Vivid Rose by Maybelline. Um, I think I have like three reds in here, all from Maybelline. This one is a Rimmel color I got on sale. It's like a bright orange. It's in 660. Yeah, this one was really cute. And then this is Whisper. Um, it's like one of those by Maybelline and it's in the color Some Like It Taupe. So I have a couple lipsticks in there, not a ton. Hopefully I can fill all that up, but I do need to start buying like more normal lipsticks because right now all mine are liquid lipsticks. So yeah, that goes on the side there. So that's pretty much it for the top of the desk. I don't want to keep a ton up here just because I do have storage room for it. So I don't want a ton of clutter. So I'm so mad because I got this drawer dirty. I need to find a way to clean it. But in this drawer on the right is all the makeup and products I use pretty much on a daily basis. So in this like left drawer, I have like all the makeup that I would need like on hand, you know, just to do a quick look. So this blush, I actually just got this in my Ipsy Glam bag. This is one of those Amazonian clay 12 hour blushes. And then back here, I have a sample size of an Urban Decay highlighter. I seriously can't even tell you which one this is. And this is just my liquid eyeliner. This is the Knits Matte Liquid Liner. My Baby Skin Primer by Maybelline. Uh, and then my foundation. This is my favorite. I've talked about this forever. The Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. And I'm in the color Vanilla. So I use this one every day. And then my Beauty Blender is destroyed. I don't even want to pick it up and show you guys it. It's disgusting right now. But I also have my Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is the best. This is in the color Sin. And then this is the It Cosmetics uh, Superhero Mystera. It's just a sample. And then I have this one too, the Maybelline Lash, Lash Sensational. My Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And then just like a clean Mystera wand. So that's everything on that left side. And then over here in the middle, I have makeup remover wipes. Always did I have on hand. I have the Sistine Gel Nighttime Protection for my eyes because I have really dry eyes. Just some extra cotton rounds, even though I have a ton over there. And this is just like a Sephora, like, 
handheld mirror if I ever need like a mirror. So back here I have some more cotton rounds. I have this eye cream that I'm just trying to finish up. It's the L'Oreal Revitalift eye cream. So that one's almost done. Then I have my Neutrogena Healthy Defense Daily Moisturizer. This is my one with SPF. I have some lotion by Bodytology that my friend got me for my birthday, just in case I'm ever dry. And then over here I have just extra um, mascara wands that I got. So I don't ever use like a mascara wand more than once because of my eyes. So that's it for this drawer. And I already showed you guys these in my room tour, but these are the Ikea 9 drawers that you've probably seen on like everybody's makeup collection videos. But these are the Ikea 9 drawers. I will link them down below. So this is where I keep all my foundations and concealers. So for foundation, I have a matte Studio Fits Fluid. I have a powder foundation by Bare Minerals. I have a L'Oreal Pro Glow Infallible 24 Hour Foundation. That one's like almost gone. I have a couple of the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundations. I have these in a couple colors um, just to mix with. Um, my Maybelline Fit Me. This is in a really dark color uh, for when I'm really tan. I have a L'Oreal Pro Infallible, or no, a L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. And this one is more of a client foundation. This is the Revlon Color Stay. So I have like a couple different shades of foundations in here because these are usually what I just mix with my Born This Way because that is my favorite foundation ever. Or I use them for clients if they're that skin color. For concealers, I have one of my favorites. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind. I have a couple of the Maybelline Fit Me concealers. I have a Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. That's an awesome full coverage concealer. Um, this is the Knits HD concealer. This is like when I really want a strong contour like and highlight look. These are my Draftopian concealers. So I use these when I'm doing people's tattoo removal and whatnot or like star covering. I use these. Um, but I also use these if I have like really bad under eyes that day. And I have a couple of the green concealers from, I think these are from Maybelline. Yeah, so I have a couple of those. And then these are my Draftopian um, concealer palettes. I love these. I use the heck out of the light one, but I also have the dark one in case I have a client that has a darker skin complexion. And I also have a couple of the Bobbi Brown. This is the Bobbi Brown corrector and the concealer and powder duo. So I love these two if you have really bad under eyes, you paired the corrector with the concealer and powder duo. But that is just my concealers and foundations, nothing crazy. Okay, so moving down to the second drawer. In here is where I keep like my face powders, my blushes and bronzers, and my primers, but they're all like hiding in the back right now. I have a couple of Draftopian powders. This one is transparent. I have one in like kind of a lighter color and this one is a deeper powder so I don't usually use um, these two as much. I usually stick to transparent especially for baking. Then moving on back here, this is kind of where I put all my blushes. I'm not the biggest um, collector of blushes, I only use like a couple. This is a cover girl, this is like a berry one. My uh, lychee and gold blush. I have some Knits uh, cream blushes, and I have like a Tarte bronzer in here, some more Tarte blushes. Um, this one is a Lancome blush. So we have a couple different kinds of blushes in here. I don't have a ton of primers, but I have my MAC Strobe Cream. I have a couple different um, Smashbox ones. These are just in the sample size because I never go through them that fast. I have That Dow by Benefit. That one's almost done. I've had that for like years. And then this is a setting spray. I have a Knits uh, Dewy Finish setting spray. So yeah, that's it for this drawer. Um, this is not the kind of stuff that I really go over board and buying for. Yeah, this is not the kind of drawer that really expands that quickly, like my foundations might or my eyeshadow palette. So this one stays a pretty good size, um, nothing too crazy in there. So this is where things start to get packed because I keep all my lip products and all my eyebrow products in here. So in this first drawer, this is kind of where I keep anything like a gloss or like my baby lips, anything like 
nourishing to the lips I keep in this drawer um obviously there's other stuff mitts in there but that's kind of what's in that one okay so here's all my liquid lipsticks so I have like a couple of the tart melted this is one of my favorites the MDM flow in um, retro that was like from an ipsy bag um, I have a couple of these ones by sorry I'm digging by Gerard cosmetics and some Kylie lip kits in here so that's kind of like all the liquid lipsticks and this is where I keep my lip liners I don't have a ton of lip liners because I'm not that huge on lining my lips but I have enough so that's where I keep all of those and then moving on to my eyebrows pretty much all my eyebrow stuff is from Anastasia Beverly Hills because that kind of is just what I got started on I do have this Sonia Tasha like gel brow set. I have a couple of the dip brow pomades in different colors uh, just for like clients. I have the brow powder. This is the dip brow in my shade medium brown. So I have a couple of the brow definers and a couple of the normal ones like the brow is. So that is just this drawer right here. Kind of more of one of my busy drawers in this whole thing. For the fourth drawer this is where I keep all of my single eyeshadows. As you can see in here, I have uh, some MAC loose pigments. I have some of the Beauty Bakery uh, glitters. Uh, I have a lot of the color tattoo cream shadows. I have a couple of the L'Oreal infallible eyeshadows, some Milani singles, some of the color tattoo uh, pigments. So this is just where I keep any single eyeshadows if I get them. I have my knits. Uh, glitter primer. This is just like my glitter glue that I use. And then in this drawer here, I have all my Sigma cream shadows. Packaging on these are absolutely terrible. It's huge. So I keep them in their own little drawer. So that's just this drawer. Uh, that's just where I keep all my single eyeshadows, cream eyeshadows, glitters. That all goes in there. So this is a fifth drawer. It's not the most cohesive of all the drawers. But back here, I have my highlighting and contour palette. I have my Lorac Pro contour palette under there. The Becca and Jaclyn Hill highlighting palette. I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour, not contour, highlighting palette. And my Morphe and Desi Danger highlighting palette. Over here are all my airbrush product. So I keep all of the shades in there. And then I have a couple of the M Cosmetics highlight and contour sticks. So I keep those in there, and then in here, I have all my pencil eyeliners and some sharpeners and any other, like, miscellaneous liners. So I have a lot of, like, the Knits uh, Vivid Brights liners, a couple of the Tarte Smolder Eyes, the Urban Decay 24-7. I don't usually go into this drawer as much because I don't wear a ton of... Uh, coal liner, but when I do I hop in here. That's a drawer just kind of a mix of a bunch of different things But it works then this is kind of like the last drawer with like all my stuff But in here I just have like all my eyeshadow palettes So in here I have like my Jaclyn Hill palette. I have a couple Morphe palettes. I have like my Z palette This has like all my MAC shadows um, I even have more Morphe palettes than I have in here I just don't keep them all in here. I keep some of them in my trunk. And I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance, my Charlie Bible palette. I have my Naked 3 in here. My Naked 1 is in my trunk because I was just doing makeup in Chicago. I have some of my MAC palettes, like this is MAC and Riri. I have some of these Revlon ones. Uh, this was like a MAC... Uh, limited edition spring fling palette. I got this one in an ipsy bag, the Pacifica palette. And then I have, this is my favorite palette. This is the first palette I ever used, ever, which is why it's destroyed. The Too Faced Natural Eye Palette. That's not even the packaging it comes in anymore. Um, my Urban Decay Ammo Palette, the first Urban, De Urban Decay palette I had. Um, and my Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani palette is back there. I've actually slowed down on buying eyeshadow palettes because I do have so much in here. Um, yeah, I kind of just started chilling out on that because I really don't need that much of eyeshadow palettes, but I'm kind of a junkie when it comes to them. Uh, I do have some other ones, but I don't keep them in like my personal makeup area. So this is the last drawer that really has like product in it, uh, but it's not even completely filled. As you can see, 
I spilled self tanner in this drawer and it won't come out. It's really sad and it kind of smells like self tanner in here. But what you gonna do? Uh, in here, I just keep some extra lashes, more for more for myself than if I'm using them for clients. And then I have some eye glue, just my duo black glue. I love using the black one. And then here's where I keep my Graftopian Pro Paints. Like if I'm doing Halloween makeup or something like that, I have a bunch of different colors to mix with and whatnot. Everything else is pretty much like miscellaneous stuff. And then the bottom drawer has nothing in it yet, so we're just gonna save that for when the collection becomes bigger. Okay, so that's it for this collection today. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, I then subscribe to my channel down below and hit the bell so that you're notified every single time I post. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys.